Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful like Akim, pushing this truth throughout the four ends of the world. Shalom to the elect of Israel. Israel is the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But known in the Bible as the Israelites, God's chosen people. All right, salvation is for you and you alone, and this includes the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigner, who may look like the heathen, but their father's line goes back to Israel. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, this is the brother Karathazah of Men of Valor, Las Vegas Camp, coming back to you with another one. This one's going to be entitled A Call for Action. All right, call to action. All right. The prophets are on the highways and byways. All right. Chief place of concourse. Crying aloud and speaking the message of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. So the elect can hear it. All right, and it's a call to action because you must, you know, perform a task after hearing this word. All right, it's your responsibility to to not only receive to hear this word, you know, if it's your lot and you have the ability to hear it, but you have a responsibility to um to teach if you're a man all right and if you're a woman to be in subjection to to be you know to get in order if you have the ability to teach you should be teaching okay so and, and you you can't just hear the word and believe that you're saved now the Holy Spirit is the comforter, but there's still a there's still something that must be performed. All right, as we're gonna get into. All right, you can't just hear the word, believe it, and believe that you know you're good. No, you need to show you know your faith by works. All right, and that's what we're going to get into. You know, Lord willing, it be edifying. This is Proverbs 1 and 20. It says, Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. And that wisdom, you know, is the knowledge that Yahweh Bashim Yashai has bestowed, all right, upon his, his servants, the prophets, all right? And, and, and the knowledge of his Bible. A knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of the time of thy time. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city. She uttereth her words. How long, ye simple ones, will love, will ye love simplicity, and scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? Right? Because if you had any sense in you, okay, you would, you know. Ask the prophets what you need to do to um, to be to to be redeemed out of this low estate. All right, but our people, you know, are deluded, all right, are delusional. They believe they can save themselves, all right, and they lack the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Okay, so let's get more. Go over here, Saki. Okay. Now, Bashim Yashai has set up his pastures of his flock. All right. To give this word, it's not who you who you want to listen to, but it's about who has it. And we know through faith that. 
great millstone, the apostles and elders of great millstone, have the 100% truth of the Bible. All right, because his word stands, you know, strong. Romans 10 and 17, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the, the word of Yahweh. Okay, faith cometh by hearing. Okay, you must hear this word, and you must receive it where it was prophes you know, told that, that you were going to receive it at. All right, it didn't say that you were going to receive it receive this truth in, in in the harlot houses all right it said in the chief place of concourse it didn't say you're going to receive it in the hood all right it said that you're going to receive it in the chief place of concourse on the highways and hedges that's where, where you will receive this gospel and only the elect can hear it okay that's why you said bless he that have ears to hear All right. This is what, what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. All right. Or know you not that you are the ye are the temple of power, and that the spirit of power dwelleth in you. All right. Tem this temple wasn't made with hands. All right. And that's where where the knowledge is coming from. Slaki. So knowledge is coming from the 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 chosen, you know, leaders of the chosen leaders of Israel, you know, starting with Apostle Tahar on down. All right, who have the truth. We have the correct breakdowns of of prophecy of, of the prophetic scriptures, all right. Who are teaching that that the the MOTB is a micro is a RFID microchip, all right, and and truly warning the people. Okay, so like I think I skipped one because I wanted to grab this actually. No, I'm good. Let me try to figure out. Then order it how I wanted it to be ordered. Okay. But you have to hear the word first. You must hear it before you be a teacher. All right. This is uh, James 1 and 22. It says, But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Right. So you can't just hear it and then believe that. You good. Now, knowing you're an Israelite don't save you. Knowing you're an Israelite doesn't, you know, give you the okay to keep on doing, you know, your folly. All right. Hey, Brand, uh, as I just watched the video, even though I was a little late on it, from the elder Manatha Zakba. Hey, Brandon T. Jackson knows he's an Israelite. All right. But, but what, what's he doing? All right, he's still going to BT Awards. All right, uh, who else know that they Israelite, but but continue in in they in this wicked uh in their wicked ways. All right, and Bush, a lot of a lot of celebrities know that they Israelites, but they don't do nothing about it they, because they love this world. All right, same with you two the rest of you two third israelites okay you can't just hear the word and not do anything about it all right that's why it's uh how about you i had a call to action this this truth is about a call to action and you putting your faith in action all right let's go to james 2 and 17 it says, even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say that, say thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by wor my works. All right. 
you need something to show you how about Shem Yashah, hey, even as the parable of the, the laborer, all right, the penny, all right, every man work, worketh his own penny, and let's get that. I'm not going to bring out that, uh, that parable, you know, I don't want to make this lesson too long. I was just uh, referencing it. All right. Philippians 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You can't land back all right, or ride another brother's righteousness into the kingdom or another brother's works into the kingdom. All right. You have to get it by yourself and following and following the ways of the man that are put before you. All right, but as uh, in Second Edges and and as Yahweh Shai quoted in the Book of Matthew's, a hey, the straight gate only one man can enter at a time, and you need to have be built up. All right, <clears throat> in your own spirit to walk that path because you may not have brothers to lean on. All right, in these upcoming times, this is Second Peter one and ten. It says, "Wherefore the rather brethren give the diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fail." All right, so you got to make your calling and election sure. This is a, a as I did a. a as I remember, I did a, a video, you know, um, maybe a year ago about, you know, it's a perfect balance of um, selfishness and selflessness. Yeah, yeah, being selfless to the body and, and being able to be a sacrifice, all right, for the brotherhood and for, you know, your own salvation. But you see the duality in it, all right? You see the duality in that topic, and we need that perfect balance. Okay, let's get back on um, track. You just, you know, spirit had me pull it out. All right, we're gonna end off in here. Rome, uh, Hebrews four. I think I got two more, but this is Hebrews four and and verse, um, in verse nine. It says there remaineth a therefore a rest. Actually, I'm gonna start at eight. For if Yahweh had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? All right, Yahweh told us to go out and preach, to go do the work. Right. Therefore remaineth there there remaineth a therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh. And who's that? The Israelites. In the kingdom of Israel, all right, is to be restored. The rulership of Israel, when Yahweh comes back and redeems his people. For he that is entered into rest, into his rest, he also hath seized from his own works, as Yahweh did from, as power did from his. Okay, so hey, this ain't the time to be resting. All right, this ain't the time not to be working because we have a task at hand. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. All right. So if you don't, if you if you if you're at rest right now and you're in the wrong spirit. All right. You don't fell off. And hey, let's see what happens when Yahweh Shai comes back. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and the joints and marrow and his discerner of the thoughts and intent of the heart. So if you truly understand this word, you're going to see that, hey, it's time to get busy. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we do have. All right. That's the discerning, you know, that the 
the Holy Spirit and the understanding of this word has given us. All right. And the hearers of the word should see that hey, we got work to do. All right. Whether it be, you know, you, uh, you know, if you're a help to the uh, to the brothers. All right. Or if you're a sincere listener. All right. There's still things that you need to do. All right. To uh, be more perfect. Always being better. All right. Growing in the spirit. All right. Figure it out because we don't got much time left. And I'm speaking about myself first and foremost. All right. One of my favorite scriptures. And then we're going to close out. Matthew 24 and 46, I believe. Blessed is the servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Okay. And that's who's going to be saved. In these in these in times the, the men are right, doing his work and the sincere followers and believers of the testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. Alright, so with that I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash. Alright, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Once again the title of this lesson was uh, a call to action. Alright, till the next time I say Shalom. I'm going to show you a little bit